and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina, if you guys are new and if you're returning followers, welcome back. And before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that bell for every time I upload a new upcoming video for you guys. I wanted to particularly start with this makeup tutorial because I haven't seen a lot of these makeup tutorials or someone even thought of it. And I was thinking about it yesterday and God and the Holy Spirit told me that I should do this type of look but as I wanted to share, you know, God's word and Jesus and teach you about him and all the things that he has done for us. I know a lot of times we get discouraged, we get distracted from all the things that are going on in life and the political things, but sometimes we need to just focus on Jesus and what he has for us if video comes across you that it was meant to be I want to take too much more of your time so if you really do like to get this creative holy girl makeup look then just keep on watching and thank you so much for watching I hope that this message gets out there to the right person and brings them closer with Jesus Christ anyways let's get into this holy makeup tutorial Okay, so now the next step I'm gonna use is the Wonder Release Centea Serum Unscented. This is gonna help with my little redness. I've been breaking out. I don't know exactly what I've been breaking out with. I'm gonna assume it's chocolate, but most likely it's probably because I've been trying new skincare products. And since my skin is not used to it, it's causing a reaction. I did fix this situation, it's still healing. And then I started getting these three new ones here, which I don't like, but it's fine, it's fine. While I'm getting ready, I wanted to talk about things that, you know, I've been seeing so many girls doing different makeup, which I also did try to do a makeup a trend on YouTube, but it just didn't work out for me. And then God gave me like this idea and the Holy Spirit like let me know like I could make a video to glorify Jesus and also like share with you guys how every woman can be beautiful and you don't necessarily have to look like a baddie just to be a holy girl and sometimes people get the misconception of us and they assume oh they're too holy you can't talk to them because then they'll they'll go they'll say that everything is wrong and this and that and they're so judgmental and it's not even like that. I'm gonna let this sit on my face for a few minutes, but I wanted to share with you guys these two products that Iris and Romeo gifted me and I appreciate them so much. This one here is a foundation and this one is a skin tint. It is a Weekend Skin Warm Glow SPF 50, Vitamin C, Glow, and Spectrum. So you get everything that you need, whether it's glow, SPF, a tinted moisturizer, a primer, Everything that you need is in this shade here. It is so pretty on the skin. I've tried it, I've wore it, and it's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury, but better. The Best Skin Dates is also a 5-in-1 skincare dewy coverage, broad spectrum. It is also sheer coverage, so even if you even this foundation out it doesn't look cakey it's not gonna make you look like you have makeup on and it actually looks more skin like finish I really do like this and it has a moisture it also has hyaluronic acid so it's very good it's a very moussey type of texture but believe me when I tell you, you have the shade um, medium olive if I'm not mistaken but they are really good products. I'm gonna show you guys how The three in one formula combines your daily on. skincare essential in one easy step. It is re-friendly SPF 50, time relapse vitamin C, and 3% niacinamide. You can even even this out and it'll still look so glowy on the skin and it doesn't even feel heaviness. Just like other glow lotions feel, this one doesn't do that. And as y'all can see, I blended it with my fingers and it blended so well evenly with my skin. It's also good for support natural collagen and diminish the look of dark spots. This foundation is a best skin dates. It's also SPF. It has a makeup and skincare SPF 30 all in one easy step to give you that natural coverage, glowy hydration, and protects you from the UV rays and blue lights. It is also hyaluronic acid, glycerin that retains weight, water, and it helps hydrate your skin 
and maintains its skin moisture. It has vitamin C, Bulgarian rose, the Mencina complex, which helps strengthen the skin with a couple support of serum and natural collagen, which gives you firmness and elasticity. The nano mineral zinc oxidizes, it's reef friendly and it's protection shield from the blue lights. It's also vitamin C and it evens out my skin so well. Not a lot of foundations ever have the right shade range, but this one in particular really did. They are really good, they're super blendable, and they're not so cakey, so I don't feel anything. Thank you so much, Iris and Romaro, and let's get back into the video. Okay, so now we're back. I'm gonna add some of my e.l.f. corrector. I don't really like this corrector because it just smells like paint, but we're gonna use it today. I'm gonna grab some here to cover up some of my blemishes, and my I have to change like your style or whatever in due time you know when god starts to change you that will come along in the years as you grow within your faith with jesus so never feel discouraged like i know sometimes when they see us they just assume that but we are just as normal as everyone else we just don't do the same things like me i don't really like to drink but i can have a drink and be okay with it but I'm not like a heavy drinker. I don't really like to drink and get drunk. I never did. The first time I actually did blacked out and got drunk was here at my house with my husband. And I felt so bad the next day because I was feeling all the hungover ever. And now I understand why people will be so sick of drinking and they would not get better. I'm gonna use my Refi Concealer in 12. So basically what I'm trying to say is you can still, you know, wear shorts and that's okay. Um, I know some places you have to be a little bit appropriate, but you know, God loves us and he cares about us. Now, I understand if you're wearing something that's a little bit too much, then of course, like you will get that discernment from the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will tell you like, hey, I think maybe you should just change or even your husband or your significant other that tells you like, hey, maybe you shouldn't wear that just to kind of like make them feel a little bit comfortable and also like to look out for your well-being. Cause sometimes people just think, oh, they just, they're just jealous because they can't look this good with this outfit. And it's not even like that. So as a holy girl, I just like to choose to do like whether it be days, like I, I just choose to wear like whatever makes me feel comfortable and what looks good on me. Like I know the baddie makeup and all these other makeup trends are really good, but sometimes I like me a soft glam. Like today, I'm giving you guys a little bit more extra than what I'm usually doing. But believe me, if you really want like a really good, simple, holy girl um, light makeup, like makeup with no makeup, let me know. This one is just a simple one that you can just get ready, whether you're going to a coffee shop, a Christian coffee shop, or you're going to church or whatever. These are things that will help you look a little bit nice without you having to try so hard too that i've noticed that a lot of people think you know just because you start your faith with god and following the laws and and start doing the right thing and staying in the right path but then you think okay because if you don't read because i get this i have this happen to me a lot of times and yeah i sometimes struggle with reading my bible but whenever i get a chance i pray that doesn't mean that just because I don't read my Bible that I have to stop doing the Lord's work. I still have to do the Lord's work. Work. I still have to spread the gospel. I, God wants everybody. He wants everybody to be with him and earn their salvation and learn about him. So they know that he is a true God, the only true God, and that can deliver you from all your sins. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is my press powder from Sephora. It's the Micro Smooth Press Powder in Medium. I'm just going to set where I concealed everything. I didn't put a whole lot of concealer over my eyes because I like to keep that part very 
it starts to look a little too cakey and I notice that I start to crease so that's another thing why I don't necessarily like to sometimes do eyeshadow I mean I like eyeshadow sometimes but not like an everyday thing so if you do and you want an eyeshadow then go for it but I just personally prefer just doing something before going with my translucent I'm gonna use the ColourPop blush stick and this is in the shade cottage life this is a very pretty shade i've now just got on the bandwagon on trying more stuff from ColourPop, and so far they haven't disappointed me it's a very good scent and it kind of so if you are a fan of drugstore makeup you will really like this right now i've just been figuring out like what looks best for me what works best for my skin because as i'm getting older you know my skin isn't requiring so much makeup and when i say that i mean it in the best way like i i mean it like you know my skin's getting older and i should be using less makeup and my husband even though he's met me without makeup and stuff and i learned to love it even before i met my husband because I started watching makeup videos back in the OG days when Jaclyn Hill used to post on her YouTube channel and I used to watch her so much because she was my favorite influencer when it came to makeup even though I didn't have the makeup products she just knew what looked really to like get off topic like I just really want to find things that are light coverage and sometimes i look really really good when i don't wear so much heavy product and when i go outside and i look at myself in the little windows of the mirrors of my car or wherever i go and i see mirrors while i'm walking i won't have to look at myself and say wow i put so much product on my skin and for once i could say oh my skin is breathing my skin loves it and i don't have to add too much so it looks good either way even if there's other girls that have like full glam and they look good and their skin is so used to adding so much product i commend them but me personally i've always been a natural girly i love the natural side of things i don't think it's an aesthetics i just think it's just something that as someone that that wants to continue you know learning about god and, and and wanting to do more you're not gonna think of those things like those things are not especially like if you're a parent and you don't have that much time like all that stuff goes out the door like simple makeup five minutes ten minutes always works out the best for me and i'm pretty sure for other moms if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna contour my face a little bit with the baby got bronze from essence and I don't like to use all, like go all like this. I just use it where I know I need it the most. And I just put it right there on my high cheekbones. But yeah, I mean, everyone to each his own makeup. Like I'm not saying just cause I do my makeup differently that you have to do it this way. No, you don't necessarily have to. Like you can be your own person and do your own thing. And you'll some things that I'm just moving towards trying different things and using less makeup because I just feel more pretty. Like when I wake up and I have me like a good skincare and I ate a good healthy diet and I've been, you know, taking care of myself, I notice like a big change. The other day before my husband left out of town, I looked at myself in the mirror in the morning while I was getting the kids ready for school and I seen how good my skin looked and I was like wow my skin looks really good and I didn't care so much about even applying makeup because all I wanted to do was just to go out and bare face with my skin looking that good and just have somebody like walk down the street and then see me and be like girl like your skin is going like what do you use even though like on my socials I have so many people that watch and the products that I use are really good especially for acne prone thick brush I'm in the hunt for looking for like a nice bronzer brush but I want to find one that I know is gonna work with my face shape I know that sounds crazy but I, I'm in the hunt of looking for something like that and this is very light coverage so you don't have to worry about it being so heavy if you want to like like bump it up and you want to put more then of course then you can go ahead and 
you know, add more bronzer when it's your shade, because this one's not, this is not my shade, but I'm using this because it's the only thing that's matching. And I, I do this, like, I'm not like trying to be like all everybody else and how they do their makeup. This is how I do my makeup and it works best for me. And it just looks this good. So these are techniques that I'm giving you guys if you are interested for all my mommies, all my girlies that are in a rush. Simple, easy, quick, out the door. Also gonna add my Milani. I usually don't add this one if I add like a soft, uh, bronzer but I'm just gonna add just a little bit because I do like the bronze it leaves my skin like it's very pigmented and it's it's my favorite it's my favorite bronzer I've always used this even when I was pregnant and you can never go wrong, wrong with this bronzer it's glittery but it reminds me of the micro smooth powder from MAC we're gonna put my translucent powder this I'm only gonna put just a little bit because I do want to highlight under my eyes I didn't put like a lighter concealer I seen so many other girls they do that so they have like more of a light coverage here and it just looks good I personally don't like that I've have like a concealer from elf and when I tell you guys I don't like it I really don't like it I hate it so bad so this translucent powder if you're not into like trying to highlight your concealer and add more concealer under your eyes i will recommend the translucent powder from laura because it really does highlight everything and it doesn't give you any flashback i'm going to curl my lashes so basically at the end of the day you know don't treat like all your you know your friends that are changed their life around and they gave their life up to christ and start thinking oh they're religious like they're still cool people that you can hang around just know that even though they might not agree with some of the things you do and you know they have certain boundaries you have to learn to you know respect that and understand and a lot of people yes there's unbelievers that are not going to believe that christ is real but he really is and it's our job to speak the truth and to speak the gospel so that others can know about him the eyeshadow that i use is the best eyeshadow i don't care what anybody says it's this shiseido i don't know if i'm saying it right or is it shiseido sado whatever but it's it's the one lash that literally lifts up my lashes if y'all see the difference of how it was before and now like big difference now i'm gonna add mascara and this is the mascara from exo cosmetics okay right, so i finished um with a little bit i put on a little bit of some lash extensions the ones i use is the kiss bring home salon these are really good and they are very natural i even use this on my no makeup makeup days and i use my duo glue and i just added them to the corners if you want me to go in like a in-depth tutorial on it let me know also did use my wet and wild mega liner to give me like a little wing i don't know if you guys can see it but i did do me like a little wing that took a minute okay so the final thing that i'm going to use for my face is going to be the steve laurent blush this blush i've talked about it so many times it's a really good blush and it kind of reminds me of the dior blush the pink one i used to have it's basically the same thing but it's just a dupe to it and it's a drugstore so if you're looking for something like that affordable check out the steve laurent page or website to look at some of their amazing shade range of blushes okay, and last but not least i'm going to give you guys a new shade um if you haven't checked out my exo cosmetics shade range review of the lip kits go and check it out i've gave all a bunch of swatches i know my camera not my camera but my lighting is a little bit bad excuse me i apologize i'm getting i'm trying to get better at my lighting situation so just please hold it down for your girl because you know i'm on a budget and i'm trying to save up so that i can get better lighting so you guys can see better hopefully this lighting shows me a lot more with my makeup and y'all can see me a lot better but anyways i'm gonna go in with the shade 90s baby this one is the brown shade it's the best shade ever it's the brown that you need for all skin types and i'm gonna use it today so
I'm gonna use the lipstick. It's 90s baby. I like to tap the product. I don't like to go in so hard. If I do, I just go like a little bit, but usually all my lipsticks, I like to tap it because it gives it more product than me having to go in and just use the whole lipstick. It's gonna be a little bit messy, but trust the process. So now I'll be right back. I'm gonna go change and let me get this situated and I'll come back. Okay, so I finally finished. This is the look. I curled it, but my hair did get back a little bit straight again. I wanted to curl it some more, but while I was cleaning up, my Charlotte Tilbury broke. Oh. <laughs> but I'm just not going to think of it right now. Later on, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do because now I gotta buy another one but it's so expensive but I did also add some of the wannabe palette from Colourpop I use this shade as well as this shade here one is called poo for you and work um, and buzz buzz I use these two and I kind of gave me like a little uh, transitional shade like very brown but very pretty and I really did like that to complete the look, as y'all can see here. I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. And I know that if you came to this channel, particularly to this channel, then it was meant for you for a reason. Jesus wanted you to listen in and to get to know him better. I'll help. If you want to see more of these types of videos, tutorials, please let please let me know down in the comments below and appreciate you guys so much i love y'all thank you so much for watching i love you guys and mucho besito god bless and i'll see you guys next time on my next video